Hi everyone and welcome back to our kart racer series. In the last episode we started work on our finish line and keeping track of our lap count. In this episode we're going to show it graphically on the screen via a widget. So let's jump in and take a look at creating this widget. So now we've got the lap count working. We want to display this on the screen but we're going to display it in a unique way because we don't want to show the number going down for the player only when it goes up. So that's quite important. So what we're going to do is first of all create the UI for our lap count. So I'm going to create a new folder for my UI. And in here, we're going to create the user interface for the HUD, the main HUD for the character. So W, and we'll do HUD. And then part of that HUD, we're going to create another widget, which can be the lap count. So W, lap count. And this is very simple. It's literally just text. But what we're going to do we do a slightly different setup. We're going to have a horizontal box. And inside that, we're going to have a text field and another text field and another text field. So three text fields. The middle one is just going to be just a forward slash. So it's like that. And these will be the numbers. So let's say, for example, this is number zero and this is number three. So it would mean like you've got zero out of three laps. But I just want to stylistically change this a bit. So we make the first number, the more important one, larger. So I'm going to go to the font, change the font size here to 100. Okay. And if I change that to the desired on the screen, you can see how that's going to look. And I want to bring the out of three, the divider and the three, down to the bottom here. So I'm just going to hit the bottom pin on the vertical alignment. Okay. And yeah, good to go. So that's on there. We're then going to go to our HUD and put that onto the HUD. And we'll do that via a canvas panel. So we'll drag that out onto the canvas panel and put in our lap count. There we are. And I'm going to hit size to content and I'm going to stick that in the bottom right hand corner. So hold down control and shift, it will move it for you. I'm just going to offset it so it comes away from the wall a bit. So position X, we're going to go negative 100. And position Y, we're going to negative 200. Maybe negative 100. There you go. Okay, so there's our lap count. So the lap count itself needs to actually have the logic on it to read from the lap, the finish line. So what we're going to do for our W lap count is on the graph for this. On the construct, we're going to get our finish line. So what we do is get actor of class. Choose the finish line, and because there should only ever be one in your map, this shouldn't cause any issue whatsoever because it's just going to return one. And I'll promote that to a variable and call that the finish line. Okay, now this widget needs to update to uh, the text on the screen. So I'm going to go to the designer view, click on the first number, tick is variable, and rename it text lap count or count lap. We'll put it on. There you go. Oh, lap. Okay. And the last number may be variable as well, and that'd be required laps. Text required laps. Okay. So on the graph now, we should see these two text values appearing in the variable list. So on the actual class, once we've got the finish line, we're going to take out our text for count lap. I'm going to do set text. And we're going to get the lap count and put that into the in text there. Okay. And the finish line, I'm just going to set the lap count here to start off at lap one. But it's the lap you're currently on. So you currently start on lap one. Okay. So the lap count, it will go through that. Now, we only want it to update when the value goes up. So, on the finish line, we're going to create an event dispatcher and do on lap progress. We're going to compile that and I'm going to send through what lap we're going to go on. So, I'm going to change it to an integer on the inputs over here and I'm going to add a lap as a variable on the inputs. So when I drag out on lap progress as an event dispatcher and hit call, it should appear here. And we just bring the lap count, I'll just bring it from this point here, down there. 
Okay, and we can bring back on the do once afterwards. So the event dispatcher, what it's going to do is when it goes up, it's going to shout out and say, hey, it's gone up. And our W lap count, our widget, is going to listen out for that. And to listen out for that, we need to get the finish line. So drag out from the finish line, do bind event on lap progress. And we're going to add a custom event on lap progress. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the text lap setting and paste it down here. Plug in a lap number into the text node there. So when we go through the thing, we're going to go and trigger the event dispatcher, which is going to then trigger the on-lap progress because it's been bound to it. So when it's bound to it, it's going to fire off at the same time. So all we have to do now is just add our HUD to the screen. So we're going to do that on our game uh on our cart with it yeah do on our cart and go to the event graph and we're gonna go to begin play then over here we're gonna do create widget and choose our HUD and then add the screen add to the viewport there you go so let's go into the game one out of three. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Round we go. Round and round we go. And that should go up to two. There we go. And then finally up to three. Okay, we're in the final lap. Ah, so at the moment, our lap count isn't allowing us to go above two. So let's take a look at our finish line code and see what's going on. Ah, so here's the issue. So in our finish line code, we've got our lap count incrementing. No problem. Calling. No problem. But then it's going into the do once. I accidentally put in do once, but it should be going into reset. That was my error. So we'll put it back in and play the game again. Feel free to be able to speed this bit up, ramp it up, or whatever you want to do. And then... That's three. There you go, create a widget. And I want you to go one step further than what I did and make it so that when it comes up with a third lap, I want you to say final lap. See if you can figure out how to do that. If you like this content and want to see the next part, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady where you'll learn about boosting and how we can make the car, car go faster temporarily. You can find that next part right now on Patreon and you can support the channel over there from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all YouTube members and Patreon members for their continued support in the channel. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribed, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.